So I'm here in the Neophotonics demo room with Mark Stiller, VP of Business Development. Mark, there's a lot of hype and discussion around 400 gig ZR to connect data centers and to get uh, coherent into the data center. You're showcasing here this year component and uh, modules for 400 gig ZR. Can you walk us a little bit through your first demo that you show here? Absolutely, Joachim. And first of all, thank you very much to you and uh, Keysight for your support of the work that we've been doing. So for the last uh, two years, Neophotonics, with the help of Keysight, has been working on developing high-speed components for the 400 and 600 gig network communication segments that include the data center interconnects. So in two directions, we've been trying to optimize all of our product. One is in the direction of very high speed and the other is in size. So this product, the COSA, combines our coherent receiver and modulator technologies into a single co-packaged part. And what you can see here on, on this very nice oscilloscope is a 16 QAM 64 gigabot operation, which is kind of the target operating point for the data center interconnects that will be deployed in the next generation. So in, in this demo, you take it a step further. So you have already integrated your COSA with the tunable laser. Can you walk us through this setup as well? Yeah, so this is, as you said, the same COSA with our newest small nano-tunable laser integrated into what's called an OSFP form factor. And basically, this is one of the form factors being used for data center interconnects. It fits into switches and routers in a pluggable slot. Um, unfortunately, the DSP silicon is still a year out, which is why it's been so critical for us to work with you. Because without this equipment and the advanced capability it provides, we've had no way of assessing our, our optical components. But thanks to all this work that we've been doing together, um, we know the components will be ready in time for the DSP so that we can provide a solution to our customers on time, on target, and on cost. And you touch a little bit on the different form factors. You mentioned the OSFP will fit into the switch. Could you, you know, talk a little bit about the differences of the QSFP double density versus the OSFP? Yeah, so there are two form factors. Um, OSFP is a form factor favored because it has better heat dissipation capabilities. Um, DD double density QSFP is a much more is a more common client side form factor it's about 30 percent smaller than the osfp so in the long run you know we're targeting both products in the short run we at least have a component set today that works in the osfp okay. um, and the silicon the dsp the processing that requirement is fairly well standardized okay Thank you very much and very impressive uh, setup here at the show. Oh, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We could not have done it without yeah. you. Thank you. Thanks.